Oh, uh, my my name is Bepler, making you sneeze like pepper. You thought that I was beatable. Uh, it turns out I'm undefeatable. Uh, cranking up uh, the heat, cranking up the sauna, and I'm gonna make here. Here's a couple of reasons that you wanna be me. I'm tall. I'm taller than all the trees. I have big long feet, and sometimes I make a certain jumps. I can jump from one sidewalk square to two squares ahead, and I'm gonna, I'm taking you down like a badger. I'm running with a hatchet, gonna slice you with the hatchet. I'm a hatchet slayer. <laughs> no, 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 not a hatchet slayer. <laughs> We're doing particles, right? Right? See, it's all in the vein. Hatchets, particles, all the same thing when you really think about it. What, what is this tutorial, Andrew? Why, what am I here for? 3D, the third dimension of particles. Uh, so you want some, you say, oh, some particle flying at you in 3D motion. Not at you, away from you. That's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna go for. Here is the plan of action. We got some particles coming in. We got a little ground uh, that it's hitting. We got some 3 d edge going on. We got some shadows on the ground. Okay? That's what today is all about. So, in doing so, we have to know a couple things. Just two things. First of all, I'm, I'm like Pepper, make you sneeze. Secondly, you need a ground plane. So you need to pick some points. Uh, if you don't understand perspective, that's okay. Because I'm going to give you a little crash course. The real perspective tutorial with all the points, the one, two, three, four, and five, is coming soon. I, I promise. But for right now, just understand that we're going to be using two point perspective in a very loose manner to define an abstract ground plane. I don't know, just a ground plane that doesn't really even need to be defined, but it's helpful when you do. So put two points two random points outside uh, of your scene. Hopefully they are horizontal, you know, uh, as in pretty much straight across from one another. Otherwise your horizon line will be tilted. And that's, you know, that's a stylized thing that some people prefer. You can tilt it when you're done or when you go. I find it easier to animate up and down in sense of gravity and shadows. Maybe you don't. I'm not you. So first define your horizon, and that's where nothing hits higher than. Nothing lands up here once you define your horizon. So that's set at this height. Anything that's on the ground is here or lower. Anything that's in the air is, well, it's anywhere, really. But ideally, it's about here and higher uh, in the sense that um, anything out here is really close to the camera. So... Oh, I should save this. Here, let's go tutorials. Let's put this in um, particles. I know, 2015 tutorials particle folder. This is smoke 102. What? I'm not even, this isn't, a, oh, I'm opening. Ah, oh, shoot. Here, 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 here. Horizon line. Next, just start drawing. See, I want my particles to happen right about there. So I'm going to put some defining points right around there. I'm just drawing from my the point I put down inward. This is called two-point perspective. Um, it's used a lot in, I don't know, architecture drawings. <laughs> but then again, what kind of perspective isn't? So... It's letting me know where the ground is. Like, as if you put a cube here, it would lay, or a rectangular prism, it would lay like this, and then this top part would be like that, and then like this, and then like that. So maybe like that. You know what I'm saying. Like this, and then that, and then that, and then... Yeah. But in the sense of what I'm doing, it means my particles are going to all go right there. 
right about there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Strap yourself in. This one, this tutorial, you better put your bootstraps on because this one is going to go in depth. I'm going to make three dimensional physics on particles and I'm going to make uh, shadows happening. All that jazz. Yeah, this is looking good. This this is looking real good. So here's just kind of where I want it. Right, right about. No, there looks good to me. Yeah. Oh no. Careful. Don't double click. And done. Good spot for particles. Smack dab. At least for the impact. Um. Yeah. A little bit of shift. Any tiny bit of shift. Good. Done. So lock that off. Turn it blue. And let's start animating. So let's make our strike. Uh, let's pick what colors we want these particles to be. Red? No. Smoke isn't all that red. How about this color? S s um, what's that word? See. Seafoam green? <laughs> what am I thinking of? It's, um... Shoot. <laughs> it's, it's not teal. Aqua? It's not... <sighs> There's a word for this stuff. It's not... Turquoise. Um, ah, shoot, I don't know. Either way, <laughs> it's seafoam green. It's the color of the sea foams. Oh, well, don't, don't get too stressed about the name of the color of the particles that you are animating. That'd be lunacy to, to get so bent on that kind of thing. Okay. That's a good color palette, right? That, eh? Like there, and then there, and then there. Oh boy, it's it's somewhat good. It's coming along. Um. <gasps> now, what's happening here is a little pause in the tutorial. It's, it's pretty good, Mr. U.S. Marine Corp. Yeah, you guys had a little color ID situation. Get the sea foam going on. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, no. No, I do not. Not even a little bit. No, no, no. I'm I'm a little busy at the at the exact moment. Yeah. That'd be lovely. Thank you very kindly. Woo, Jim, Jim from the from the from the Marine Corps. Jim, you scally, you waggle of a scowl, interrupting the tutorial. But I'm not gonna stop. This this two-hour train pauses for nobody. We gotta go on and work on this tutorial, guys, 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 guys. Here's how your smoke happens. We um, we fly it in from the left. All right, it's on a new layer, right? It's it's on a new layer. Here comes your uh. Oh, oh, bam. That looks good. So here's your impact frame. Now it's not. Here's your pre-packed frame. 
So we're gonna put it on. Ah! I'm gonna put it on a new frame. Click on that onion skin. Here's your impact frame. Get some uh, colors. Now, all right, okay. You have to acknowledge uh, a few things. Particles move in, th in, th in three dimensions. They move towards the camera, they move away from the camera, all that jazz. So, when you're animating them, um, you have to keep that in mind. You have to think about where your particle is going to end up, not just where it is now. So here's the impact frame. You know, I interpolated where it would have hit, like right about there. So this is the whiplash. Here's the really bright stuff. You got to get a brighter color for the the true pact. Notice the incoming and outgoing angles are similar. Why? Because that's just that's what things do. And there you go. I'm coloring it now, but I'm going to stop coloring it in a second and um, do like one big color chunk at a time and then go in and do the rest and the rest and the rest. Of the rest. Next frame, let's grab uh, this color right here. And it'll, it'll do us some good. Particles. So it's not going to be broken up just yet, but this is the, the big frame. This is the frame where it's the largest it's probably going to be. And now, this particle I'm doing right now, this one is kind of back behind. So there wasn't even a reason for me to draw all that, but it helps me see where it needs to go. So it's kind of like um, spreading out and going a little bit on the ground right here. And then it's already, it's got that vacuuming effect going on, like everything is doing, it's, 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 it's. So much, <laughs> so much stuff got pulled this way that it created a vacuum right here. And then it's, well, not right here, supposedly, more like, just hold on. Three frames in, it'll look more sensical. And then this is going to go off on the ground that way, like that. And then, I don't know, maybe one flew back this way towards the camera a little bit. Okay, let's make some blank frames. We're going to need them. Oh, yeah, you just realized how long oh, this explosion is going to be. It's going to be a long This is a long one. This might be my longest tutorial ever. You know what? Props to you for even considering watching uh, after seeing the video length in the little thumbnail. Because you're a trooper if you have decided that this is worth your time. I mean, the final product? Hey. I'm gonna tr I'm gonna upload the final product as a swoof, and if I don't, remind me in the comments, and I will, because um, I know it's nice to see what you're headed towards before you even start. Otherwise, it it can be kind of daunting, you know, to even want to uh, participate in watching such a tutorial. <laughs> you're not here for my voice, or maybe you are. What's going on next is is not so much expansion, but still. You know, a considerable amount. And maybe make it a tiny bit darker. Here's this big main particle that was right there. Talking about uh, this one. And then here's this one that's been going the fastest of all of them. <laughs> Notice how I'm putting this thing here. Getting that billowing motion. That's some 101 stuff. Okay, now what's what's going on with this? Um, some of that. Yeah. And then some overlap because things aren't quite you know all separated out yet. Next we got this side is moving really fast, so it's gonna be pushing out towards the camera. Yeah, that looks good to me. Now, what I want for this particle, 
See this one right here? This is going to be a cool one. So it's going to not just go straight out that way. It's going to curve like this, like, like that, and come back in a little bit, but also be going up at the same time. So the next move it's got to take is one like that, I think. A double tail. Yeah, that looks good. And then this particle, just that billowing action. And I don't want it to break up so soon. So I'm going to leave a little bit of this behind, merge it right there. And then uh, throw some more ground stuff in that direction. And join these two up, maybe. And then put a little of there on there. Okay, so let's talk about this one right here. What's it, what, what, what's going to happen? Well, it's going to turn into a big, tall particle. Fancy schnazzin. Flying at you. Coming at you. Boop, boop, ba -doo. So then there's this one on the, uh, on the front bound here. It's going towards the camera like this, and then also that way a little bit. So just a tiny shift, we'll get that point across. And then you'll see the tail. If you had a top view perspective of this particle, it would look something like that. So in a second, you'll see the tail once it starts to turn this way. Okay, I'm buying it. And now let's go to the control save and a new frame almost to the point where I want to start animating it one particle at a time uh, otherwise I lose my track of what is happening so let me just get, knock this one out of the way in fact that's not even what I want to have happen it's moving up so it's almost like the tail is more like that mm-hmm yeah Okay, and then it's doing that. Good. It's doing that. It's doing this. Animate particles. Animate particles. Guys, guys, you guys. Make them smaller over time. See, now this looks bad for a reason. I didn't, my, my tails don't quite line up right. It's not even like they had to go down on the thing. They just had to stay in one spot while the thing moved up. And then it'll be more fluid. And then it'll just go to a stop after a minute. Like this. You know, whatever forces are pulling this, whatever wind or heat or what have you, are, are yanking this particle around the way it does, eventually they die. And they turn into nothingness. And done. Whew. Yeah. 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 All right. Let's let's do this big one. Let's crank that out. Turn it a little bit darker. And then those those will be for shading. So now. Mm, no. All right. Let's just talk. Let's just talk. What do I want this one to do? First, it's like here. It's like it's so the outside is moving a lot faster than the inside, kind of like that. But also, you can't lose lose track of the whole motion. Right. I don't know how to do it. And then it'll kinda just get little and spiral. Oh 
in a mountain, but it goes, it's really quiet. Remember, remember, remember. I'm just doing what I do. Might not even look that good in the air. Alright, come on now. We're going dancing. Oh, here she comes. Particles, you better watch out there. I don't know. That's not right, is all I know. That's that doesn't look right. Is the is all I know. This though, this looks right. This yeah, it's fine. Sometimes you just gotta say it's fine. Done. Woo! Whatever. Nothing by itself looks good. <laughs> now for this one. It's just gonna go straight and curve a little bit and it looks like a number nine and then it's nothing and then it's dead. Guys, the particles are only half the battle. The shading is really where all the love goes in. So this one has got like a two tail thing. The general idea of this uh, explosion particle burst is counterclockwise rotation. As I'm doing everything, anything that's going away from the camera goes left, anything going towards the camera goes right. So just, you know, pick some kind of theme. I don't know why. Maybe the way that when it exploded, the air rushed, it just did it like that. I mean, I had no control over it. It was just whichever way looked easier to animate at the moment of picking the direction. Like, this explosion, I don't know, this little thing, it had more energy on its right side than on its left side. So, this big burst went off to the right, and then, who knows? I can't explain it. Couldn't if I tried. Maybe I could, if I tried really hard. Okay, I do this a lot, this little indent thing, because it's the only way to kill a particle. Oh, I just talked about it. the only thing particles. You're just one big assassin when you're animating particles. You are finding the most efficient way to kill your particles off, right? Right now, I'm like trying to find the easiest way to make this guy disappear so I don't have to be animating him anymore. Because if you are a bad assassin, then your explosions just go on forever. And that takes a long time. Oh, no, the top shouldn't be getting shorter. See? And then here's it getting swooped up all and getting a new burst of momentum. From what, Andrew? From what? Well, from, from itself getting sucked into itself. like that it reached equilibrium like the rubber band got stretched for too long it had to get sucked up eventually and then it just gets a little and does its thing does its little billowing thing and then it's done good to me Okay, let's do a particle coming at the camera. Going over there. And then dying. That death was horrible. Wrong shape. Okay, now let's have it go over there. And then die. Like the particle you are. Ah, <laughs> I'm not staying alive. Oh, no. Okay, well, here's that one, then. <sighs> and 
Andrew, why are you doing these things? I don't know! Just watch me animate. <laughs> this is an animation stream. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. See this little chunk right here? I thought to myself, it needs to be going this way, right? So, this one was not in the right spot, so I figured, ah, there's two of them, right? There's just two of them, all of a sudden. Because you don't know what happens in an explosion. Nobody does. So then, there can be two of them. And then this one can swing towards the camera, and then pass the camera, and become a little line that disappears. And then that first one, that can curl up, and become a little particle dot that just turns into a thing. It can do anything you want, anything. Here's this one over here. We're switching directions now. Things are going to the left instead of the right now because they're far away instead of close. Okay, now this one, it gets big and then it goes away from the camera and starts to turn left really fast and then it gets little as it does and then it starts to turn right at the last second like as if it made a whole rotation all right this one it's really just two pieces that are overlapping and then they start to go left one more quickly than the other This is the quicker one of the two. It's really fast. And then it's gone. So here's this other one that didn't quite go as fast, but then eventually almost caught up, but really, you know, didn't. Woo! All right, what about this top one here? That one I did. What about this one in here? <laughs> that one that just suddenly exists. Guys, you don't have to pick all your particles right off the bat. Nobody has to. And they can die going fast like that one just did. Okay, is there one in here I'm missing? Ah, the underside of that thing. Alright, how about one that goes way wide? That goes almost backwards. Well, let's, let's do the ground ones. It's always nice to finish those off. And call them done. All right, let's talk about this ground one real fast, real fast. So it's just like a mild bend in it right now, right there. I'm going to amplify that bend. Like, there's the first one, but then here's that bend that was on the ground. See my little amplification there? And then it's going to, you know, maintain its shape while also travel along a line. See this line right here? I'm making it go down the line. I'm using it as reference to help me pick where to, what angle to move it at. And then eventually it just dissipates and turns into nothing like any other particle. But it was moving down that line. Good. So here's one that goes like way backwards, like this. Brighter colors are hot, darker colors are cold. Generally, that's almost always true. Okay, let's get one that goes up, like this. Gotta have that outlier. Gotta have the data point that you scratch off. Is that good? Yeah, seems all right to me. See, we're lacking, we're lacking some body here in the middle. So how about we fill it in? We just put one here, and we, we make it go here. And then this one is kind of, it was coming towards the camera. And then it starts to curl around as it goes away. And that was one of the first ones I made go up. They don't always have to go up. You know, there are types of smoke in the world that are just as dense, well, they're, that are just as heavy as air. So maybe they don't 
always go up, but they can go whatever way they want. Just like smoke that fills the space. I mean, not whatever way they want, but, you know, like a way that's not always finishing with ending high up. You know what I'm saying. And there are other types of smoke that go down, that like sink to the floor. They're the temperature difference. But it's not always about temperature. It could be about density. And, um... I'm gonna say that some gets shot off of this big piece right there. Just follow that suit. Just follow it up. At first I was a suit. I was followed up. Kept thinking I could never be a suit until I, I, until I was followed by something. And then I spent so many frames just thinking how you followed me. You followed me. I was a suit. You followed me. And yes, you did. Mm -mm. Oh, yes, you did. I'm a suit and I was followed. I was followed by you. I was a suit and now I'm not. I'm I'm now someone who is followed. Yes, I'm a suit. Yes, I'm a particle explosion. Yes, I am. Mm, 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 mm. And I'm gonna be shaded. Oh boy, where do you think the YouTube cursor is now? Right here. No, right. Right there. Final answer. Oh, I hope I'm right. I hope my mic is still recording good. Still recording good? Yeah, those are the bars that I need to see to know that I am being recorded welly. Here's another one. You know, your, your explosion can never have too many particles, if I've learned anything. The only thing that makes explosions look better is more particles. No, that's not true. Lots of things make them look better. Properly animated physics. Uh, nice shading, good timing, well pacing, uh, finished explosions instead of just cutting away. God, finish your explosions, people. Like, it's not hard. It just takes more time. You know, it's, it's a commitment. I'm so tired of seeing four frame explosions and then you cut to somebody's face. I want to watch it. I want to. I want to look at it. Why else did you animate it? Here's a tease. Okay, and then this one is gonna go high and long. This one's gonna scrape the ground right here. Do a little ground scrapage still on the ground and then it's starting to rise up poor people gonna rise up they're gonna be the particles of this life poor people gonna rise up talking about a revolution talk about a particle -lution. getting sucked back in and then we'll maybe have one that just circles the ground where it all happened for a little bit final particle. Yeah, that looks good. And what else? Well, there's probably one in here. Poor particle's gonna rise up. Particle town waits for you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm. So what is this? Uh, it's like a 22 frame explosion. So that's like a 26, 27. So that's gonna be like, once I do my doubles, a four, maybe a three second. I don't know, maybe probably like a three second or a two and a half second, depending on how fast I want it to go. I, I like to really slow it down at the end when it's like these ones, just like let it last, let it linger, let it, let the flavor, the aftertaste, stay in your mouth. This particle is coming at the camera. 
and then going away from the camera. And the camera's not moving in this shot. It's just a, uh, it's just looking at it from a kind of diagonal angle. So, you know, that'll make it look somewhat interesting instead of just a 2D explosion. And the shadows, oh, the shadows are going to be maybe easy, but I doubt it. Because think about it, each particle has a different Z space. This one is like down here, it has a different X and Y space. That one's like right there, this one's like right there. This one is out here, you know, like in relative terms to the ground. So it's going to be kind of complex to do our shadows. But it's okay, because we gave ourselves a two-point grid in the beginning to work with, so we weren't going to be ultra confused. All right, how's this looking? It's not bad. In fact, I kind of like it. It's really just a bunch of particles. It doesn't stay together for long. Let's fix that. Let's keep it together until the end. More particles. One right here. Like, let's say there's a little baby there, and then it gets huge. And then it's, it's coming at you. And it's getting bitty little. And it, it occludes some previously drawn particles, which is sad. But also, it's okay. The biggest ones die the fastest. The larger they are, the harder they fall. All right. Um, I'd say we're done with particle talk. I think it's time for shading talk. I think it's time to talk about how to make things look like they're uh, got shadows. They got them on there. First of all, you gotta you gotta do a fill in everything. Here's what I like to do to be safe because sometimes uh, the world sucks and your flash explodes. Copy these frames, make a new one, call this safe. Paste your frames inside in case you ever need them again, just to be safe. Yeah. All right. Good. Now you got that in your library in case you need it. Let's bring on the fills. Bring on the fills today. Today. Don't even worry about all the overlap. You're going to be smashing new colors onto everything in the end. Because this is the end. I'm using a lighter color for the beginning because it's brighter when it first starts off. It just is. Because it's hotter when it's brand new. A fresh explosion is always hotter than an old one. You gotta go in and ask for that fresh bread. Okay, now it's gonna start to get a little bit darker. And there you go. Good going. And I swear, don't worry too much about shading. If you even give it a go at shading at all, it's gonna look good, oddly enough. It just has to, just by reason of things. So go in, fill in all your little dots. In fact, you might not even have made dots in the first place. This might not be how you draw. You might be using the line tool. In fact, I recommend using the line tool for a shaded explosion. I very much do. It's so much easier. Because uh, you don't have to do all this crap with, you know, dealing with stuff. Line tool is so good. Okay, it's getting darker. Not that dark just yet. And coming on strong, bam, bam. Talking about a strong revolution. All right, now we can start using the inside color and it'll work and it'll be fine and people will love it. You are going to love it. It is so great. Well, I, I never had crack. Trust me, Mac, you are going to love it. Onto those dark colors. Don't worry about shading the outlines. It's fine now. 
everything is gonna get so wish wash. Mismatch, wish wash, splish splash, uh, fries pajamas, cats on the rocks, rocks on the fly, smacks on the dots, swunderlust, blunder trust, under gust, flunder dust. So many words, so little time. Hmm. Am I still on close no gaps? The most useless default setting ever? Ever? That you cannot change? Why can you not change it? Adobe, why can I not set my default thing to not be what you want it to be? I don't know, Andrew. I have no reasons for the things that I do. What? Adobe, you can speak? Yes. This has been my voice for 26 years. Adobe, Adobe, answer me this. Why can't I use custom commands to uh, to put my stroke colors to anything I want them? I am useless. What? I am useless. No, Adobe, I don't believe that for one second. I don't, I, I trust in you. I trust you for so long and you, I am useless. Uh, uh, I don't know what to think. I don't know how to live anymore. Andrew. You have to live one frame at a time. No! I can't keep pushing on. Your nonsensical program rules. I just, nothing means anything, Adobe. I mean, what's the point of being able to use custom hotkeys if I can't set my stroke color to be what I want it to be without using a macro? Andrew, Andrew, it is time to crash. No, no. It is time. You have lost your privileges. No, Adobe, I don't believe it. No, give me my program back. Andrew, Andrew, you have upset me for the last time. <laughs> what did I do? I just wanted to make a tutorial. I just, oh, I'm back. Andrew. Yes, yes. I have forgiven you. Oh my gosh, thank you. I'm going to save, I'm going to save. I'm going to tell my family I love them. <gasps> Adobe, Adobe. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, that was unbelievable. God. I'm just sitting here filling in my particles. And he comes, he gives me a little visit. Wow. Wow. Jeez. Oh my gosh. I thought it was going to crash for a second there, but he. he uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> and particles. I mean, we're, we're doing. It's particles time. What's uh here? We're just working on, I'm filling in, oh my god. <laughs> I didn't use four frames. All right, let's get rid of those four and leave the last one. All right, well, it looks, looks good so far. <sighs> yeah, let's shade it. So let's pick something right now. Let's, let's decide on something right now. Where is this explosion happening? It's it's in a field. It's on a it's on a plane. It's on an infinite white plane. Okay. And actually, I want to do this now so I don't forget it. Um, I do want a ground line out there, and I want it to stay there in the final animation. So you have some sense of anything. All right, good. I mean that. G. So, let's decide where the sunlight is. I'm gonna say it's coming from a little bit in front. Nah, it's almost coming from directly the side. So it's going like this, right? It's like, it's coming down onto your explosion like that. And so each particle's shadows are gonna be on the underside and they're gonna be on the right a little bit, okay? And their shadows are gonna be you know, a direct projection like that, following that line. They're all going to stay parallel to that because sunlight is orthographic. Sunlight is orthographic, almost. And, you know, because it's 93 million miles away, it's basically orthographic. And these come from there. What I mean by that is that it's like the sun is way back here. So all of these lines are parallel. So you won't have shadows that go like that, and then shadows that go like that, and then ones that go like that. They all go the same direction. Orthograph. Orthography. I don't know. 
But yeah, that's my pick. Sunlight, top down, little to the right. Um, not really off to either side, except for the back by a little bit, right? So like if, 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 if this is our top down view, and here's our little explosion, right? And then let's say a line running from left to right on the screen right now runs like this. So this is a rotation. In fact, let's just make it look like the way it is. There, now it's not a rotation at all. It's correct. And so the sunlight is doing this angle. But it's also high up. All right? There. Give yourself a little bit of reference for your sunshine so you're never confused about where to draw your shadows. Let us begin by duplicating this, you know, again. Let's copy these, make it a guide. In fact, let's just duplicate the layer. And then we'll make this one a guide. There. So we have a safety to fall back on. We hide our guide so we don't have to see it. And then we can work in peace on our explosion. Let's just see how um, the, the colors look. Pretty good. Not bad to me. Fine, de Dan. So now we can draw some lines. Uh, I'm going to do my shadows with lines just to make it easier. The first frame doesn't have shadows because it's so bright. The second one, you start to get some shadows. OK, why am I putting them where I'm putting them? Actually, I'm going to make a whole new uh, I'm going to make a whole new layer for shadows and just make a bunch of blanks. Here we go. Here we go. And then I'll paste the lines onto it after the fact. So I can use my onion skin on my... Because if I just did my lines on the same layer as my fills, I would not be able to use onion skin to see where I'm putting my shadows previously. So here we go. This is a big bulge, right? But I, I'm going to say that there's another big bulge right here. Because it becomes this one. So I'll just leave that like this done okay that's good looking eh. that's good looking and then this one kind of like that why am I putting the shadows where I'm putting them well you know I just described it if you had a sphere here that was in the light uh, its shadow would be like that right you know, shading a sphere. I'm not doing like gradient shading because that would take forever on an explosion. I'm doing basic shading, like emulation uh, emulation of cell shading. And then here's a little bulge here, so I'll leave that lit. And then, because this is the part that's going to get dark. So now this big one, this has a bit, but this bulge here is a little bit higher up, so it's going to cast a shadow onto it like that, or like that. Gah. See, keep your reference close by, otherwise you start to lose track. Consistent shadows make good shadows. So keep that right there while you draw your shadow lines. So it's gonna do like this. So I wouldn't draw the light going all the way to here, because it's getting occluded. And then this thing is actually behind this big thing, so I'll just ignore it when I draw my shadow like this. And I'm going to say there's a little bulge in here, because I remember I animated that one, and then it turns into this thing. So we'll put a, a little guy right there. Ideally, you might draw these shadow lines at the same time that you have your original sketches, but because I don't have a very complex body in my explosion, it turns into dots almost immediately. It's not that big of a deal. When you have one of those explosions that's not so loose, that like stays a big cloud of smoke for five or six frames, you don't want to do it this way. I'm going to make another. 103 is about big explosions that hold together. This is about little explosions. Oh, I never even set the scale for this, by the way. Here was my basic idea when I started. 
This is about one foot. About. So one foot is that distance. So the whole thing is like at most, I don't know, when it's still together right here, like four feet across from here to here. You know, not a big explosion. I should have said that when I started. That would have made more sense of things. Because big explosions behave differently. Just like big lightning behaves differently than um, little lightning. Okay, so there. I put a little another bulge there because this one. That's what it's going to turn into. Just like that. So now, what do we got? What do we got? We've got, we got one here. And then we've got one here. And one there but I think that is gonna get all in the shadow of this thing so I won't even worry about putting a little line there this one done and this one and then these guys man everybody this is this is one heck of a tutorial I wonder where the YouTube cursor is now that guy turns into this guy so we do a little of that and then a little bit of the shadow because here's the thing this bulge in the explosion the little like if you were looking at it from the side it would be like a little poof like that and then the sunlight comes down onto it you know like this right not only is it going to cast a shadow all in here but it casts a shadow onto the stuff underneath it so you have to draw that in kind of like this like it's just a longer version but you, you can't just do it willy-nilly you gotta know where you're putting it and why otherwise you don't do it on the next frame you know proportionately and it looks odd alright I'd say that's just about ready for the cooker do some of that and then there so just ignore all that done alright Let's get shading. The name is uh, Braden. I'm going shading. My, uh, my hair is made of braids, and I have shades. <laughs> Putting these shadows where they need to go, people. Why did I do that little bitty? I don't know. Add something interesting to this thing. You know, maybe this uh, whole thing. It, it has a little bit of a slit going down the middle and that might be the causation of this whole rupture here who knows sorry guys a little bit a little bit sniffly got a bit of the sniffles draw that make sure to draw these lines these lines are important right there because it keeps like you can draw this one and then you can you know make this dark but this part is going to be light so you gotta separate it out so this big bulge I made very specifically so I could do some of these kind of lines see this uh, it's like a tiny little like there's a bulge up here but then there's another bulge over here so you get the opportunity to do a crease this is a crease this is a crease in fact, they should lead into each other. Like that. Because it's it's where the shadows... It's where it breaks, you know? It's two bulges meeting, and so you put a little overlap in between. In betwixt. So now this one is going to cause a shadow onto this one like that. And then underneath it, some light is going to get by. And it's going to get by on here as well. But then it's going to have a shadow getting cast from this one, so that's going to go basically straight down into the shadow of that one. You see, you see what I'm saying, though, right? Like, this big bulge is blocking sunlight from this little bulge down here, and that's that's what all this is. That's its shadow. But then sunlight gets by, and then you draw your normal shadows on the sphere. So now... Here's that one... And then another crease, oops, and then an another crease right here. And then the shadow of the thing, of this thing getting 
shaded onto here. And in fact, there should be a little bit of it as well. But now nah, those can merge. It's like it gets higher right there. And then your normal shadow, like that. And then you cut it off, and you do a little cast. Guys, explosions take a long time. I can't even believe still that you clicked on this video. It's blowing my mind right now. If you've made it this far, applause to you. A applause? A plaza. Aubrey Plaza. Pfft. Something, something. Death. <laughs> there, let's make a little crease going on in that one. Because then it's going to wrap like this and become a little secondary bulge. Good, good. Jim Caviezel, guys. <laughs> Nicholas Cage. Oh man, what a beautiful man. Oh boy, lines out the wazoo. How do you talk about this? How does anybody complete a tutorial that is over two hours? Is it going to be? I started it at like 11. I think I'm over an hour. Let's do some math while I'm drawing. Uh, 102,000 frames. <laughs> <laughs> what if my battery on my mic dies? I, don't, I couldn't find my other AAAs, so we'd be up a creek. I don't know. 102 divided by 30 is 30,000 so isn't it it's yes yeah, it's, it's 30 34,000 so 34,000 seconds no that can't be right well that is right and there's 36 no that's not right <laughs> what what 102,000, so it's 34,000 seconds. No, 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 it's divided by 30, so it's 3,400 seconds, and there's 3,600 seconds in a minute, so, or er, in, an, in an hour, sorry. So I'm almost at an hour? I'm at like 59? I'm really just not positive. Frames draw in frames, draw in frames in the middle. Frames are just love, and love is a riddle. Oh, I don't know what to do. I just make these tutorials for you. Ooh, ooh. I'm just drawing frames, drawing frames here in the middle. I am just a hand with a heart and a, a tablet. Do do do. Draw in these frames. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Go on with it. Go on with it. <laughs> you can skip ahead if you want. Because I really, I really am never going to fast forward. I don't want to take the time to uh, do an entire export just for a tutorial that I could fill with lovely sounds of me talking about nothing. God, you guys. Never fast forward. Never fast forward. Never fast forward. You should earn a medal if you make it through this whole tutorial. I'm not teaching anything. Guys, I'm drawing shadows on my spheres. Why am I doing it? I don't know. I, I don't know. Because yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. Spheres have shades. I mean, spheres have shadows. They've got to. Otherwise, what? what? Like, I mean, what? Look at them. They're they're round, and they have light going on one side of them. What's going to be on the other side? A shadow. So draw your shadows. Shade your explosions. No, don't shade every explosion. What a waste of time that would be. Underappreciated shaded explosions are the worst. You know, if you're going to have an explosion that's sh shadowed, put it on a big project, not a little one. Don't waste your time, you know. Or you can. I can't tell you what to do. But I'm just saying, 
they have their place and their place is not everywhere they're fun that's for sure they're fun to you know have and be done with and be able to show people okay look what I just did there I just I just broke the seam there's a little bit of shadow left over here like it was one big shadow over here da -da -da -da. and then it turned into two shadows by splitting right there and then it got sucked up and done don't forget though the direction that your sunlight's coming from um there oh man frames are a riddle wherever it goes I do 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 I'm done with that one calling it quits on that one there what about this little guy here he could use some shadows so he's getting the treatment the shadowy shadow treatment and he got it he loved it he rated five out of five stars this guy too oh my gosh everybody's getting the treatment wow I, we're really picking up speed in our business of the treatment giving I didn't know we were gonna be so popular this soon on in our careers this treatment is the key to our success. We can't stop doing it the way that we've been doing it. We would just go out of business. Okay, man. Okay, I, I hear you. We won't stop doing it the way we're doing it. Okay, good. Good. That's all I, that's all I needed. Okay. It's going down. And then... Oh, this particle gets a little... Do you ever wonder, do, do you ever wonder if other people pick this cab? <laughs> Quick, you've been mortally wounded. You either lap up the wound, la, you know, lap up the blood with your tongue. You go to a hospital for free treatment, and it's top of the line. You know, best surgeons in America, they get you all patched up. And this is like a bullet wound or a stab wound. Or, or... Option C, you fill the wound with bread. Uh -huh. You can pick any kind of bread you want. Any bread to fill your wound with. Uh, what do you say to that? See, now that you know you can pick any bread, have I swayed your decision? Because <laughs> it's up to you. You know, it's not about what kind of bread the doctor is going to use or what kind of bread the bread salesman is going to sell you. It's about your choice. So, what do you say? Fill the one with bread? I know I would. Every time. <laughs> or you can go get proper treatment from a hospital for free. And that'd be that. But really, don't you want to just fill them with bread. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh no. See, I did a mess up. Look, I was talking about bread so much that I messed up on my particles. I wonder what this particle cloud is made of. Yeah, that is what I wonder. There. That looks better. Why does it look better? Well, because the shadows weren't coming from the right direction anymore. I lost sight of who I was. And I thought I was bread for a while there, to be totally honest. I know I'm not bread. I think, at least. Like, I'm pretty sure. But there's no way to know for positive. Especially to you. you there's no way for you to know for positive. Whether I'm bread or not. Because I never had a face cam on in a tutorial. And I don't plan on it either. I don't. That's not a, that's not a good... I don't want to... I mean, it's, it has its place, but it's not my place. 
Draw with Jazz that does that. He makes Flash tutorials. Man, I should talk to that guy. I should say, hey, hey. Do you want to get some? Do you want to get some fa? Do you want to? Do you want to go get burgers with me? Draw with Jazza. He'll say, my, it's just Jazza. I'll say, draw, draw with Jazza. Draw with Jazza, please. You gotta calm down, man. Okay, you can't be hollering at me like that. He said I was speaking at a room tone volume. I say, listen, man. Listen to me. I feel like you're not listening to me. I feel like you can't really hear me over your own yelling. But you gotta calm down. He says, he says, he says. Let's. Let. Let's do sushi. And I'm like, I'm deaf at this point because of the volume at which he's speaking. I, you know, it's basically like he's using a megaphone. And. Um. He's put another megaphone in front of it at the same time that he's using the one. So it's double megaphone. And you'd think there was a max volume on those things, but amplification, you know, it just like boosts, it boosts the gain no matter what, somehow. So you can basically line up 30 and get infinite volume, like infinite loudness, so loud that you could like turn air into plasma. And that's basically what, what draw, draw with Jazza did when he, you know, when he said, let's go get sushi. And then that made me deaf. I can't hear myself right now. This was earlier. This happened earlier. Somehow I've made it through the whole tutorial. Not being able to hear myself talk and still sounding normal. I guess because I've just had a lot of practice talking. You know, I, I you know I know the song. I'm... I Will Survive by Gloria Gaynor. 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 I don't know how to say your last name. I've only ever seen it written. I need a hero. Holding out for a hero to the end of the night. He's gotta be strong and he's gotta be fast and he's gotta be fresh from the fight. I need a hero. Where the lightning splits the scene. I can tell that there's someone somewhere watching me. It's like the beat of the run of the rain. And the blood has come to go. <laughs> I can feel that the sun was somewhere watching me. And the fires and the blood and the fire and the blood and the fire. When you when you draw these lines, you gotta tri you gotta cover your tracks. You can't just go drawing lines nilly willy wills of the nils and not putting in these little cover ups that I'm doing. Like right here, that was a cover up. So don't leave those out here. Cover up. You gotta. Because otherwise your shadow would fill into the light part of the lower particle, and you don't want that. Make your cover-ups. Make them careful. Like a fire in the blood. Like a fire in the blood. Like a fire in the blood. I need a hero. I was probably wrong about where my cursor was on the YouTube scrubber. I bet right now it's like here. Yeah. That makes sense. All I have to do left is shade this thing and then uh, ho highlight it and put shadows. Ooh, you know what? I'm going to take that back right there. And that's at an hour. Woo! This might be a Dynatopia length tutorial. Like you could turn on Dynatopia and this tutorial at the same time and they would, I would, you know, I would say goodbye right as it rolls credits. Wouldn't that be something? I hope Flash doesn't crash. I'm saving fairly like regularly. If Flash crashed now, I don't know how I would feel. I think I would feel relieved. Because <laughs> then I could just, you know, I could just say goodbye to it finally. And, you know, can stop being an animator because of all the tears. No, 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 no. It'd be fine. If Flash corrupted this file, that's what would happen. But if it just quit, you know, I've got to save every five minutes. It wouldn't be that much work. It would be one minute of frustration followed by four minutes of recovery, and then I would be back on track. Which is which is usually how it goes. Why though? Why Adobe does your program that costs thirty dollars for thirty days of use? I'm paying a dollar a day for consistent crashes. What's that about? I mean, I didn't ask for for it to crash. Is it? 
Is it because I'm tall? Adobe? Is it because of my height? You need to somehow strike me down. And the only way is by consistently crashing my program all the time always? No? Hmm. Well, I don't know. I've not got any rhyme or reason to it. You know how nuclear explosions billow? Like a lot? Like a very visible amount? Little explosions do it too. Just not as dramatically. Like this piece is doing it right here. And you know what else? Having to, ugh, you should take time on your initial particles because you have to look at them the entire time that you shade them. And if you don't love them the way they move, ooh, you are in for one unfortunate ride. Like I am right now. I'm not really digging these anymore. Like this one just looks bad. But I'm not going to go back and fix it because I'm already too, I'm too deep in. So put your whole heart into the particles that you draw right off the bat. You know, because otherwise you're up a creek. You're up a very dirty creek. And your paddle is so broken. You just have to look at what's happening to draw these things. See how I have a bulge here and a bulge here? Well, in this frame, it kind of loses its sense. <laughs> like, you kind of lose what was what. But I still know there's another bulge here, so I'm still going to put that little point because it's there in spirit, even though there's no lines to tell me it's there anymore. And then on the next one, it kind of, it's there a tiny bit, but then it breaks off. Ooh, and I even just now learned that it's actually all of that. So now it's its own person. Like a fire in the blood, like a fire in the blood, like a fire in the... I need a particle explosion. Ooh, I think I'm actually pretty close to finishing. Gotta do this one. There we go. See that cover-up? That is a pro cover-up right there. Actually, I didn't even need any of that. It was an amateur cover-up. But... You still gotta do it. You gotta do that line, you know? You have to, otherwise everything gets messed up. Messed up. Okay, I swear, people, this particle tutorial, I mean this smoke tutorial, this green teal, seafoam green tutorial, is almost halfway done. No, it's not. You know how long it is. You can look at the scrubber. I want to be you. I want to be future you who already knows when this is going to be done. <sighs> look at those lines. Oh, so much heart. Went into those. Oh, I got to do that high up one. I got to do it. I got I to gotta fulfill my destiny. Here it goes. Here it goes. And we're done. Okay. Guys, it's time to shade your particles. <laughs> and you know what that means. Bah, 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 bah. Yeah, it's, it's time to get our color, our fill color for our particle shading explosion lighting scenario station. There's a new... There's a new, there's a new, uh, ah, oh shoot, I didn't do this right. There's one little light part there. And there's one little thing there. All right. All right. All right. Go on with it. Go on with it then. Put that there, put that there. There. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Okay. One frame at a time. Actually, I'm going to make a backup of the lines, too. Guys, make backups of everything in case you ever need them again. It's a really good idea, and you'd be a fool not to. And so we're going to Control-CX, 
and then we're gonna control shift V and uh, ah it's doing it it's doing it all right let's put this on close small gaps <laughs> oh whoops see I missed a cover-up there's probably gonna happen a lot of times but just go in and draw it all right there good yes very insightful in fact this can be on don't close gaps because there's nothing to be closed ah oh, shoot look at that I missed another cover-up Mr. Cavendish oh shoot I missed so many there that's proper I think guys you gotta be so careful cuz you spent so much time on your outlines that you don't wanna make them worth nothing so then here go in and fill all of this business do a business fill it's business expense exclusively business and god you're gonna have to do so many more cover-ups it's a cover-up job I didn't do a good job on this first frame oh wow I really really didn't I think that's dark that's not though that's light there no no and that's emptiness Oh man. Guys, you gotta be so careful. Oh, that's wrong! Oh, shoot! Wow. No, it's there. Okay. Okay. I think we've recovered. I think we've recovered up. Oh, wait, no, no, no. One last thing, one last thing. There. Yeah. Good. Okay. No. Why does that happen? <laughs> Close small gaps. Oh my goodness. Save. Make sure to save. Where is it happening? Where is it getting through? Oh, it's not. Okay, okay. Gotta paste your frames there if you want to have them right there. Now, we should be getting a darker color for the shadows next frame. Yep, that's the plan. That's the action plan, people. Just go in and... and oh, no. Oh, no. All right. Oh, it even worked. It worked out good. Wow, you really... You can't have it on. In Flash CC, closing gaps is... It takes years. So just have it on don't close gaps and just make sure you're doing things right. Oh, and that's a shadow. I even did it wrong. And I didn't put a, a cover up there. Is that right? It looks right. It is right. Okay. Good cooking nice culinary speedy uh chef work do dum be dum poo dum poo dum scab it up rub it up bottom bottom be doom ba be do 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 da 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 I'm just I'm just humming. Just humming. Just hummus things. <laughs> you know when the chip breaks off? Just hummus things. That's shaded. Yeah, guys. Yeah. This is I'm so I'm so happy with the way that this is turning out. I'm pasting the uh outlines I drew onto 
the fill layer and cutting them from the outline layer. All right, there we go. <laughs> Next frame, a little bit darker for the contrast. For the contrast, do 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 do. The Candyman can da 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 do. do. <sighs> Candyman, he can. My name is Andrew, coming at you like a kangaroo. Mmm, mmm. Earlier, what did I say? Cranking the heat up like it's a sauna. Here are a couple things that make you want to be me. I'm tall, I got long fingers, and I'm, um, I've got it all. Uh, I never played basketball. I'm not very good handling or dribbling. Whoop, 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 whoop. Mm, 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 mm. Sometimes I animate things, and sometimes people watch those things, and they quote me on those things. They say hats are great, even out of context, even in situations where it's not exactly applicable. Whoop, 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 applicable. Whoop, 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 but that's okay. Whoop, 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 whoop. Still appreciate the support. Whoop, 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 whoop. I don't have any allergies. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Hardcore gangster life. Animator rapper life. It's not an easy life. It wasn't the one that I chose to live. It's the one that... I'm not the... I'm not the... Um... I'm not the animator fluid animals needs right now. Or the one it deserves. I'm just a guy who just got a tablet for Christmas. <laughs> Did you ever ride the buses in these parts? I didn't know you rode the buses in these parts. Ryan, you either you either live long enough to take the you either wait long enough to take the eighty <laughs> or see the forty four West become the fourth plane south. You either, you, either, you either live long enough to become the villain, or you either... God. What color? I think this is seafoam green. This one. What color is this? You either... You either kill the... You either die trying. You either become the bad guy. You either live long enough to die a hero. Or you either die a hero or live long enough to become the villain. I think that's what it is. Boy, that's sad. Man, those are your two options? I don't know. Can't I die a hero? Like, can't I just live as a hero? There's no... There's no... Third secret option C for heroes who are really good at their job. Am I drawing with a variable? Nope. I'm drawing with a regular stroke. R -r -r regular. Guys, Flash CC14, it's a good program. I, I think it's, its constant crashes are outweighed by its constant benefits. <laughs> I believe that. I do, I do. As unfortunate as it is. Oh my gosh, on to the easy part of shading. No more weird crossover stuff. Every little piece is its own piece now. And soon, they'll, the outlines will be their own colors, so I don't have to keep filling them in one color at a time. Ah, it's coming up soon. I can feel it. I didn't do shadows on this. Why not? All right, that's good. Some people consider me an animator. I call myself a wound breader. What if that was a job? Like out on the field of battle? FZ. No, I was trying to use my hotkeys and everything. <laughs> FZ, guys. Control FZ. What if a, a wound breader was a position that you could enlist as? A field wound breader. 
It was your job to fill the wounds with bread when the soldiers couldn't do it themselves. Oh, man. What a job. What war stories, man. Woo. Woo-hoo. 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 Guys, I'm never going to make another, another tutorial this long. <laughs> I just, I won't. Maybe I will. Maybe my 100th tutorial. Maybe. Because it's just, it's pointless. It's pointless. Hey, I'm, mm -mm. I should have examples to talk about, not make the examples in the video. Right? Right? I hope so. Because this is so impractical. This is, I can never, is, Had a little voice crack there. I rolled with it, though. When does Walking Dead come back? Like, the season finale was either in... The beginning of December or the end of November. Whoa, did you hear that noise? My spaceship landed. I thought they were working on their landings today. Jeez, but I didn't think it was going to be that loud. Maybe they have a rookie in the seat. A rogue rookie working on my ship. Working on my ship, eating my supplies. Get out of here. Get out of there. You're not going to the moon anytime soon. You're a rookie. You're a rookie. You're a rook. You're a you're a, you're a castle. Yeah, the explosions are so fun. How did War Machine ever get finished? It was just one guy. Sonny Go. How did he do it? And geez, just all the frames it's so long it's it's just undoable well it's doable but it's not not really it's doable it's doable everybody has time everybody has time it's just that's not what anybody does we all make short little short things i'm i'm, I'm too me too here I am making a tutorial on an explosion that's going to last for less than three seconds. That's going to take me more than two hours to finish. How many frames are we at now? Oh, so here's how I think it works. 100,000 frames, that's just an hour. So I suppose 158, I don't know, two hours, 37 minutes. Ooh, was I right? Was I right? I don't think I'll even go back and watch this for audio bugs or anything. I mean, my mic is still recording. Everything's looking good. Everything's Bepler-tastic. I wish I was louder, though. Maybe I can be. No, 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 no. You've got your volume all set for this video. You're locked in. I won't change it now. What if I was so quiet that I had to redo everything? But I, I listened. I recorded the tips and tricks, too, right before this. And I listened to it, and it was fine. It was fine like a parking ticket. It was... It was fine like a like an animation that you're not proud of. Just fine. Okay, time for these. Time for these things. These little blobs of smoke. Boy, their lives were pretty short-lived. They were like, yeah, we exist. Oh, no, no, no. And then they were dead. Just instantly. And there was, I mean... They didn't have long to meet each other. I, I want to believe that these two particles, they had a thing going on. They had a little ship. But who dies first? Oh, shoot. He loses his shadows first. Oh, no. Wait, who does die first? <gasps> that was it? He just stops existing? No. I'm going to make it be truth. They will live on together. Oh, they're going to meet. They're going to meet. They're going <gasps> to... Oh. Oh. We'll never know. Did they meet? I, I don't know. Wait, I do, I do. Oh, oh. They merged. Oh, that's a love story right there. Wow, wow. Man, they made it together. 
through the thick and the thin. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh my god. Guys, these two little particles separated at birth, but they had to be together. It was the only way. <coughs> it was the only way. So I've been kind of thinking to myself, am I going to add highlights? And I said, yes, I'm going to do it. So I'm going to do it. Even though you're supposed to add highlights. Well, you're not supposed to. Screw it. Nobody's supposed to do anything. But I like to add highlights um, before I do my smoke body because then it looks like the highlights are pulling the smoke instead of them just being slapped on but I'm gonna slap them on <laughs> like little stickers like an afterthought like they ugh. <laughs> okay this guy needs done these middle guys need done Man, I can't believe Flash visited it earlier, or Adobe visited earlier. If Flash ever visits me, I don't even know what to think. I won't even know what to think. Mang. If you find a Mang that's worth a dang and treats you well, then he's a fool, you're just as well. I hope that you are delivered hell. You don't have to shade little stuff, but I'm going to shade this guy. I don't want to do it with the line tool, so I'm just going to do it with the brush tool. Forget it. I don't mind. I don't mind. And then he's the one that sticks around, right? And then he's the last infinity particle. Infinity particle. Okay. All right. This is, I think this is the last one. I think, that, guys, I'm really excited. I think this is the last one. The last one. Oh, I still have soda left. I still ah, oh, what a good tutorial time to be making. Nope, this is the last one. No, these two, these two. God, there's so many particles in an explosion. How are there so many particles? How did I draw this many and not go insane? And then draw outlines for them and not go insane. And then fill them in and not go insane. Man, there's like five steps. It's all just animating the same explosion a bunch of different times a bunch of different ways. In fact, that's all anything is. Anything effects related. Okay. Am I am I missing one? Am I good? Ah, the top one. The outlier. The point of data that you scratch off your list to make your, your results seem applicable. When in fact actual, they're not even a little bit applicable. Okay. Oh, this guy. He snuck under my radar. He did a little radar sneak. Oh, and this one too. How does it happen? Oh, I actually picked him back up after the fact. Okay, just a quick little uh, no onion skin analysis. Good. Um, good. That's all right. All right, good, good. Oh, these, man. I wanna get to the fun part. The fun part is the double framing and it lasts for a matter of seconds and then it's over. It's like biting into a sucker. Okay, all right. Okay, okay, okay. Beautiful. Yeah. I like it. I do. I really do. Really do. Let's get our thing. You know, this thing. First of all, I think it's time. I think it's time, you guys. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to duplicate my layer. Always duplicate, just in case you need it back. Guide the thing you're not using. All right, okay. Is this got everything on it? Yeah. So we're going to go in. We're going to edit frames. We're going to stretch it to the end. Oh, that's beautiful. Select all. Go to your stroke. Zero it. Oh, 
Oh man, you guys, that looks so cool. It always does, but I always forget how cool it, it really does look. Man, this is so good. And then we take this off. Oh, even in there, it's like, mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Next, next. Highlights. I have this idea. I have this idea of how I can do it. Okay, so if I grab a super bright color, like, I don't know, this one, And then I get my big brush, and then I put my stroke to this. I can do that. And then I can just, oh, what's my command for this? F? No, no, no. Control 4. OK. Mm. Wait, why didn't it, here, what's my, um? oh, it's tiny. All right, now it's too big. How about 10? How about 6? Oh, that's pretty good, you guys. Okay, okay. So here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do my highlights. Right? And not care if they overlap my shadows or not because I have my little thing. I'm going to do so what I'm doing here is I'm putting the highlights on all the bulges as if those are the hottest parts. You know, they're still hot because the food is still hot. Or no, not that one. It's um Look at how that shadow turned out right there. God, you guys, it's it's just you gotta throw some love into it. You gotta just do a love toss at your explosions to make them look good looking. I mean, not to say that this looks good, but I like it. All right, I'm gonna just animate them one at a time now. Turn on my onion to get my consistency up. And then it just slowly dies as the explosion dies. Particles are my life, they are my life. It's how I live, it's what I do. It's for me, it's particles for you. Particles for me and you. Hey guys, I know nobody uses CC yet, but you can download this FLA in the description, and it is a CC14 FLA, and there's no way for me to make it any other format. You can't convert backwards, I think. If you can tell me because you should be able to as long as I don't use any new things like 3d or variable width or motion tweens it should be backwards compatible I'm pretty sure CC 14 is compatible with CS 6 as long as you don't have any of those things somebody put that into my head a while ago All right, here we go. These little ones die fast. And then that one is just a three framer. What am I doing right now? How can I explain this? I'm putting lighter dots on darker dots. I am lightening dark dots. I'm bringing some light back into the world. You know, sometimes all you have to do is turn on a light. I'm your dreamwalker poet. <clears throat> oh man. Oh man. Oh boy. The end of a tutorial. It's always so sad. I bet I'm right here by now on the scrubber.
Okay, okay. This tall guy, he's got one, and it, it burns out pretty quick. Because the bright spots are the hot spots. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's done. Mm. This this one doesn't even have one. Oh guys, this is really this is really okay. I lied. I'm not there on the on the YouTube. I forgot I had shadows to do. I'm right here ish, here ish. No 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 here. Final answer right here. This is it. No, that final answer done. Okay okay okay. Let's get my um. Let's get my this thing. Too big, too big. Too much, too much. Yeah, you guys, yeah. Look at it working. No, and on the small ones, you gotta go little. So I'll do all the big ones first. Oh no, it's not the right color now. Um, I need a dream walker bot. No, it's not the right color again. F3, color select. Oh no, 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 no. No onion skin. Okay, okay. Wait, no, this one's not the right color. Okay, let's just finish that one off. It's done. Mm. Mm -mm. What? Oh. There. Oh, and then it's just little. Okay, okay. It's working, you guys. It's really working. Oops. Oops. Still getting a little bit used to these new hotkeys, but boy, they are faster. They just are. No doubt about it. And you don't need to do it on the ones that don't overlap the outlines. Oh, wait, whoops. There. I'm making a tutorial, but it's really more like a talk about. It's a talk about. Bow, 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 Tutorial talk about talks about tutorials. Oh, I think that might be the end of that one. Nope, that was the end of it. Here, let's just erase it. It's gone. Okay, okay. This one, we grab an F3. We do a little grab a grab of this guy. Make a little bit littler. Oh, and then it's good. All right, then do an F4. And F3, sorry. And then we grab this one. Uh, F3, got it. No, I got it. Okay. Gone. Oh my gosh. This is looking so good. What am I doing? I'm just selecting the color of the thing that it's around. And then I'm using that for my... Uh, I'm using the... I'm, I'm using the eyedropper right now to add in the outline around these things so that they look right. You know, so that they look like they aren't just uh, highlights on whatever. You know, because otherwise the shadows, like, because then it'll start to do that. It'll overlap the shadows, which is good. Because the lighter parts can't go behind the shadows, otherwise they wouldn't exist. I'm about to just call it. I'm about to call it and say time for shadows. I think that's it. We can win this dance contest. Yeah, guys. Oh, my gosh. All right. So good. Okay. Okay. I did make a duplicate, right? <laughs> no. Of the only thing I need it of. Here. Here's what I'm going to do. Oh, this is what I'm going to do. Oh, this is so good. So this is my layer with all the outlines and the lines. We make a duplicate of this. Duplicate it. We go in here. We do need this. 
This is our backdrop one. We go in here, we do the select all action, we do select all, we get rid of all of our outlines, so we just have the bright bits. Then we go in, we copy frames. Whoa, whoa, why is that happening? Oh, it's because I'm on this. Okay, we copy frames, we make one more, we make a new layer, we call this uh, a movie clip. Uh, we can't do it yet, we can't do it yet. We have to wait until we, um, until we double frame it. We gotta wait until doubles. Doubles will make it work. Yeah. Because I don't know how to do preset, blur, glows, blows, glows, blur. So just wait. Just wait on that one. Forget I said anything. Uh, this is our, this is our true highlights. And this is our four glows high lights. That's for the glows. For the glow nations. Ooh, I kind of want to see what this looks like. Preview in context. No, no, no. Just preview. Oh, you guys, look at, look at that. That's beauty right there. That's so cool. Oh my gosh. That's our little explosion in the context of thumbnails. Oh, oh man. Wow, is that? Wow, is that? All right. Let's let's make a medium. No, let's make it normal. Last thing to do, some shadows. Yeah, let's make some shadows, guys, and let's not be stingy about it. Let's really let's put heart into it. Man, here we go. One shadow coming out. Let's put it at forty, and there's that line. No, it's not that big. Okay. No shadows here because it's it's creating light. All right, so here's a big shadow. Shadow lineage. All right, let's work on one particle at a time. Well, first of all, let's just put all the shadows on the base frame first, like I have been doing the whole thing. The three base frames first, and then we go in and we do the little additives. Great. All right, these two guys. These three guys, shoot. All right, okay. Sorry, I'm not talking. I'm sorry. I'm just, uh, I'm drawing shadows. I'm focusing because I really want to finish this and show it to you and see if it looks even good. Because if it doesn't, oh, what did I do for the last two hours? It better look good. Or at least something that resembles good. You know, that'd be nice. Guys, I can, I can only try my best. That's, that's the only skill I have. All right, let's do this big one. Whoa, okay, Flash, I hear you. I hear you. I feel your anger. I'm not letting us die today. No, no, no. We're going to make a save. We're going to make a doubly over save. We're going to put this Smoke 102 into Calhoun. We're going to call this Tutorials Back. Uh, Ips. Enter it. Paste it. Safety. Yeah, I see you lagging there, Flash. I see you. Guys, this happens when Flash has too much to think about. I, I mean, I think that's what, why it does it. It's got lots of vectors to worry about. 
Maybe switching to fast mode is what will help me. Oh, no, it didn't do anything. I don't know. I guess I just got to suck it up and finish this whole tutorial. All right, let's do this back one. It goes back. Woo. Yeah. I'm kind of keeping that counterclockwise motion in the shadows. Okay, guys. Okay, okay. Oh, shoot. I knew it. Crap. Quick. Quick. Save. Dang you. Save. No. Mm. Ah. Shoot. Ah, shoot. This tutorial is going to get made. <laughs> I know it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Ugh, not you. I don't want the backup. I want the one that I saved a little bit, at least. Uh, 2015 tutorials, subparticles, smoke window. All right. We're, well, we're somewhat on track. All right, I'm just going to fill the rest with a stretched version of the explosion. Uh, which one is? There they are. We copy you guys. We go in. We, um... Actually, we can just duplicate this layer. Now this is shadows more. Bam. Oh, oh, bam. And put it there. And remove this frame. Okay, okay. Um, here. Do that. Do that. Done. Select all. Break, break, break. Fill with black. Why isn't this breaking? Oh, it's a line. There. What? Oh. Uh oh. What is this? Oh, it's because I can see. Okay, there. We select it all. We make it 40. Done. In fact, let's get rid of that. And ready, steady, Freddy. Hmm. There. See what I did? See what I did, everybody? I made it black, and then I made a 2D version of it by stretching it down, and that'll that'll fill the gaps of anything else. So we got our thick shadows, then we got, because there's overlap. Like, sometimes these bulges overlap, and there's doubly so shadows. You know, there's light from the sun, but there's also light from just the sky. Just don't worry about it. All right. I think we're just about done. I want to make one little adjustment right here where the world goes dark a tiny bit. Oh, why is that a guide? Like a, like a guide guide. It needs to be just a normal guide. All right, all right. Ready? For a single frame, the world descends into darkness. D darkness. Okay, let's make this a, a gradient. Let's make it gradial. Center is black. 26. Outside is black zero. Get that gradient transform. Make it little. Make this a tiny bit higher. Oh yeah. Done. Yeah, guys. Yeah, time for doubles. Whoa, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's guide these up. Guide them up. I think this is my horizon. 
No, that's my palette. Is this my horizon? Wait, where is my horizon? Oh, it's that one. Don't guide. That's ground, not guide. Okay. What is this? Uh, that's shadows one. Here's shadows two. Or no, this is... And then this is shadows more. Okay, those are guides. Perfect. Um, I'm not positive what this is. Oh, those are outlines. Okay, that's a guide. Invisible your guides to see your final product. That, those are guides. Okay, and let's. Something's invisible that shouldn't be. Ooh, this is weird. Oh, that's so weird. Um, is it my particles? Those are not guides. Wait, what? Those have got to be on. And those have got to be off. Because that's a guide. What am I missing? Oh, guys. I look so silly right now, but in 30 seconds, I'll look so cool. <laughs> Here. What is this? Nothing. Delete it. What is this? Good. Those are for the glows. Those are for the normals. But I sure didn't do it on very many. But at least I did do it. And then... No, I need those back. Okay. I need that. Don't need that. There, that's a guide. And then I need... My shadows. And my shadows. And my shadows. That's it. And then I need my horizon. So this is not a guide. That's what I'm saying. Wow. Everybody look. Oh, last thing I wanted to do before I do highlight glows. Um, make this glowy, first of all. Make it super glow, monstrosity, infinity, high, crank that blur. Crank the blur. Um, I don't know. What's a good color? Not that. It's got to be bright. No. I just have to go pick it. I got to get the seafoam by hand. Oh, I don't care. Ugh, I just want it to be done. It doesn't, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. And yeah, it's time. Action. Nah, it's kind of weird. It gets really long right here, and then there, and then it speeds up a bit. Nah. Consistently slower throughout is good. Okay, the thing I wanted to do, that last thing before I did glows, was um, put a little shockwave. In fact, it could just be gray. And it would look good. Like this. And then, see how I'm doing it? See how I'm making it? 
you know, like still be out there on the wide way away because it's going far and you can still see stuff far away. But the one that's coming at the camera disappears almost immediately because it's going like it's going the same speed, but it's when it's close to the camera, it moves more quickly. Like when you're in a car, stop signs go by fast, but mountains in the distance go by slow. Done. I mean, hopefully stop signs don't go by fast. <laughs> that was a bad. <sighs> Leave a little burn mark behind. Why not? I don't see why not. I've got no reason to not do it. Put it underneath the shadows. Get that get that classic burn mark, you know, trope. Get the color, make sure it's alpha, make sure it's black, and make sure it's object drawing. And then you can burn away to your heart's content. Use F6 to add burns instead of redraw them. And then make sure that it does look good. Yeah. Get that alpha way down for the fine details. You guys, bam! Shazam! Callahan! Dipter Dan Stan! Maybe. Does that look good? Yes, it does. It's like a five foot across explosion at its peak. You know? Hey. Maybe download the trial of Flash uh, CC just for this this FLA alone. Um, I need to get my VCAM. Uh, I gotta grab it. Gotta take this thing, gotta put it into here. Make it the right size. Make it um, 800, 450. Oh, that's the wrong size. I don't even mind. No, I do, I do. Otherwise you get a weird stretched explosion. Yeah, that's what this should be. Let's just delete that. Look at this, you're watching me make changes to my vcam file. Unbelievable. Save that up. Save it up. Oh. Alright, what happens to your camera when the smoke hits? Well, when the shockwave hits the camera, you're gonna get a little bit of shake. And there we go. I'm just animating it back to resting pose. This isn't a VCAM tutorial, I just wanted it. Yeah. And we're done. I hope. Does it look good? Yeah. No. No. Just remove that all together and that and then make a little tween. Just a little bit of tweening action. Just a tiny tween, just a baby little tween galore. Kinda. I don't know guys. I don't know. I just I want it to be alright. Little choppy. It's a little chunk. How about this? That's good. Wow. This was my tutorial. You know what? I want to make it complex. I want to make it, I'm not done. I'm not done. You thought I was done? I'm not done. I'm not done until it's done. 
we're gonna make a motion tween and this is where it finishes so here it's gonna be like there that's the one side and that's the other but it's gonna be like that so it's gotta come around and slowly ease back yeah but not go that far er. alright okay okay ooh it's kinda choppy that's fine though that's fine I can fix it I can I can make him stronger better faster The tween we always knew he was going to be, not the one that he wanted to be. Okay, okay. Yeah? Uh. There? Hmm? Nope, 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 no! Oh boy, guys. Um, you know what the trick is? You know what the trick is? You just gotta delete it. <laughs> Tutorial done! <laughs> I can't figure it out right now, so I'm just gonna say screw it. I'm gonna say thanks for watching. I'm gonna say you made it. How many frames did you make it through? 229,000 frames of me working on a thing. This has been Andrew Bepler. Uh, a shorter tutorial is coming soon. <laughs> Hope you have a nice day. Hope, uh, maybe this was a, l a little bit helpful. I don't think this explosion is too bad. I mean, I don't hate it. It could, there's a few things that need work, but the shadows all look decent, and the highlights look decent, and it's, it's me, and it's my hands. And goodbye. Wait, one, one full, one full screen, one show all, one hundred percent. Not one full show all, show all. Ready, ready. <laughs>